Radio TT 365, the best biking station in the world. Back in 2003, in January it was, by uh, our then programme controller who said, would you like to get involved in TT? And as, as a fan, what do you do if somebody asks you to get involved with the TT to do this? Nah, I'm a bit busy, you know, I can't do it. Of course you do it. Yeah, so and it's just kind of grown from there. So that would be, what, nine to that, that's 90, 10 years. So, yeah, it's really enjoyable. The amount of professionalism now, I'm not saying it wasn't professional before, but everything is professional from your top men all the way to your, your guys who are at the, down the middle of the field to the bottom of the field, all coming, all smartly turned out. And it shows in, in the lap times that we've got more professional, more professional outlook on everything, better lap times. I would have to say that uh, John Holden last year getting his first win, that was that was fantastic for me because I like John and Andy. They've tried for years and years to try and get a win. Um, I'd have to say when N Nicky Crow did that 116 mile an hour lap, that was just absolutely awesome. And the feeling in here in Pit Lane, not far from where we're standing here now, where John McGuinness came in and Charlie Lambert did when he did the first 130 mile an hour and the applause and the atmosphere around here. I mean, it was like scoring a goal at Wembley. It was absolutely fantastic what John did on that day. Yeah, those, those are big memories. I work freelance for Manx Radio and you know it's it's fantastic it's my life it's what I do as a job I mean I'm quite lucky to get asked to go away to do various bike events as well and it's really nice went to Macau Grand Prix last year for the first time what an experience that is I recommend it uh, you know it's just, it just really is fantastic it's a great life to be involved in and I wouldn't have it any other way Manx Radio TT 365 the best biking station in the world no.